For cattle producers, decisions you make in the spring can make a real impact on the amount of profit you'll see in the fall. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter has a look at some valuable steps you should take early in the year to help protect and to enhance the health and well-being of your cattle herd. Diebel Cattle Company has been in business near the Texas Gulf Coast for almost 130 years. In fact, Stephen Diebel is the fifth generation of his family to raise cattle in this part of the Lone Star State. This uh, operation began back in the early 1890s, predominantly a cow-calf operation, but over the years we've expanded uh, to encompass more holistically uh, um, not only cow-calf but stalker. We background some calves and we retain ownership as well. So from a diversification perspective, we're involved in the whole chain. This kind of longevity wouldn't be possible without the Diebel family's commitment to the health of their cattle. Herd health is a, is a big component to, to our economic successes. You know, here on the ranch, uh, sick cattle transmit to more dollars that you would not have otherwise spent. So uh, our, our health protocols and our health regimens are very, very important and, and something that, that we just don't compromise on. Vaccination is one of the best methods to protect a herd from infections and disease. While the type of vaccine you use is important, proper timing is also essential. They should be administered in the spring before releasing cattle to pasture to help ensure better health and performance during the summer months. Our health protocol for our calves begins at branding time. They'll get a, a modified live at branding. Those calves are typically 60 to 90 days old. And, and results have shown that the cattle have gone to the feed yard and done very, very well because I think we've done all of our homework in, in the beginning. At the end of the day, that's the whole goal is to create calves and sell pounds. And what you do now will have a big influence on what happens down the line when you're marketing your calves and, and getting ready for calving again. Many operations like Diebel Cattle Company have turned to intranasal vaccines to help boost newborn calf immunity. Intranasal vaccines don't just differ from injectable vaccines in the route of administration, they actually spur a different immune response in cattle. So when calves are born, they drink colostrum, that first milk, they get a lot of antibodies and immune protection from mom and some vaccines can't override that. And so we don't stimulate a, a, an immune response in that calf. Or these vaccines, this Bovillus nasogen 3 PMH, does a good job of stimulating the calf's own immune system without having a negative effect on the maternal antibodies that it receives from the colostrum. Another benefit of the Bovillus nasogen 3 PMH is it's the only intranasal vaccine on the market right now that incorporates the most common respiratory viruses as well as the two most common bacterial pathogens all in one convenient package. While it's not difficult to administer the intranasal vaccines, it does need to be done properly. It's not the traditional method of, of administering a vaccination. So there is a bit of a learning curve people have to be aware of. Like our Bovillus nasogen 3 PMH, it has this blue shadow dye to let you know that you actually got it into that calf. When you're administering this vaccine, it's important that you actually get it into the nasal cavity. You don't have to get it very far, but at least past the opening of the nostril and squirt it in there and expect it to mist up and then some of it to run out. That's okay. Uh, as long as it makes contact with that mucosal surface inside the nose, it's gonna work. Vaccinations aren't the only health and performance measures the experts at Merck recommend for your calves in the spring. When you're considering spring turnout, another very important consideration is gonna be the parasites, and that's internal parasites and that's external parasites. Uh, we're coming out of the winter, coming into the spring, we've got spring gra grasses coming up. Uh, we really wanna make sure that the worm burden, internal, parasite burden is reduced. There's a lot of evidence that shows that parasitized cattle reduce the amount of dry matter intake. The other thing to visit with the veterinarian about is external parasites, fly control and tick control. There's also evidence that shows that a certain number of flies on an animal reduces performance and production. It's damaging to them. So if we can reduce that, then that's going to help with efficiencies and, and help everything move forward in, in, a, in a positive fashion. So visiting about parasite control is very important. Another early season strategy is to add a growth implant to your calves. This can improve an animal's rate and efficiency of gain. So another tool that we have available to us that can increase the success of the spring turnout is the use of, uh, of implants. 
especially on these on these calves. And we there's a few options, you know, like Rao Grow is a circling calf implant. Revlor G is a grazing calf implant, you know, after weaning. And the benefit of of implants is it, it really makes them more efficient and they can actually utilize even poorer quality roughages that a calf that's not implanted could. And it's one of the very few things we can do in the cattle industry to actually count on a return on this investment. So to, to kind of summarize everything we're talking about with, with spring turnout, the, the decisions and the management practices that are done at spring turnout do have an impact in, in the fall when it comes time to marketing these calves and, and trying to increase your, your profits. Not only does Merck have the products to create a well-rounded herd health program, they also have an expert support team to answer questions and provide advice. We have the really big advantages of utilizing Merck's veterinarians and, uh, and our local vet as well. I think um, they're the experts and they help us develop those plans and those protocols. And, uh, and what's really nice is they're a phone call away. And that's why it's so important to have a good relationship with the veterinarian so that you can tailor those uh, vaccine programs to your operation and, and the goals of, of what you're doing. Getting each animal to perform to their full potential is the ultimate objective, and the right practices, including vaccinations, deworming, and implants, ensure they reach that goal. Reporting from Texas, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. For more information on Merck's lineup of cattle health products that can help your farm or ranch meet any challenges, just visit their website, MerckAnimalHealthUSA.com.